Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. There, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to the special edition of the Match of the Gathering Market Watch. It's that time of the week again where we count down the 10 hottest cards of the week. As always, we look at two pieces of criteria when we select our cards. The first is the amount of percentage increase from week to week, and the second is an actual increase in sales, not just an increase in asking prices. That's going to help us filter out some of the market manipulation that is out there. Now, in today's video, you're going to see some new cards we haven't talked about in a long time, or in some cases, probably ever. And that is because of the Commander Legends previews. Those are in full swing, and some of the cards we're seeing in those previews are impacting existing cards. Plus, we have other things going on in the secondary market. We'll get into all those details in just a second. But first, a quick reminder, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. They currently have a lot of stuff in stock on the website. Check it out. I'm sure you can find some deals with that promo code. One of the newer things that they have are the Commander Legends Commander decks. You can pick the two of them up together for $40.50 when you use the code. And of course, when you use the promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 10 is Glinthorn Buccaneer. This goes up $1.75 to $2.75 for a 175% increase this week. Now, currently this card is seeing Commander play in decks like Rael the Everwise or Brawlin and Shabraz. However, it is the Commander of Legends leaks and previews that are really pushing this card. Turns out, Pirates are coming back in a big way in that set. Pirate Tribal is getting a lot of cards to play with, and there's also a Treasure Token tie-in that plays along with them as well. Number 9 is Stitch in Time, and this one's kind of interesting. The Guilds of Ravnica is a Guild Kit copy, only going up 2 cents to 207 for a 1% increase. I don't think people have noticed that copy yet. The Guild Pack copy, though, goes up $1.81 to 412. That is a 78% increase. Now, this is a card that currently sees play in Commander, Okaun, and Zender split builds, and more. However, again, it is a Commander Legends preview that is pushing this card as well as some others you're going to see later in the video. And that card is Kark the Thumbless. Admiral Beckett Brass comes in at number 8, going up 314 this week to 449 for a 232% increase. As you know, this is a fairly popular Commander already. However, of course, this is moving again because of the focus on Pirate Tribal and Commander Legends. Number seven is Insight. You have the Tempest copy going up 301 this week to 395. That's a 321% increase. The sixth edition copy goes up 352, though, to 422. That's a 505% increase. Okay, so this is a card that is seeing a little more Commander play right now, simply because there have been so many Lands Matter decks out there since Zendikar Rising came out. Most of those decks have green as a core color. This is a metagame response to that. Number six is Talarian Entrancer, up 467 to 797 for a 141% increase. This one is on the reserve list. Doesn't see a whole lot of play. Feels more like a reserve list buyout or panic buy this week. Number five is Corsair Captain, up 505 this week to 890 for a 131% increase. And of course, this does see play in those pirate builds and commander already. Plus, it is a jumpstart card. We've talked about the supply issues with that set previously in these videos. But again, this is a card moving because of the focus on pirates and treasure tokens in Commander Legends. Number four is Frenetic Afrit. This goes up 560 to 802 for a 232% increase. Now, this card is on the reserve list. However, this isn't just a random buyout this time around. It is going up in value because of the reveal of Kark the Thumbless, which we saw earlier. And currently, it does see play in Commander, Okaun, and Zender split builds. Number three is Gaming Symmetry, up 827 to 1177 for a 236% increase. Now, this is a card that does see Commander play actually in a number of builds, including Anawan the Rune Thief and Yuriko the Tiger Shadow. But yet again, this is moving this much right now because of a new Commander Legends preview. This time, the card previewed is Opposition Agent. And number two is another card moving because of Opposition Agent. It is Marlin of the Morn Song, going up $34.40 to $40.98 for a 523% increase. Now, currently, this does see some commander play as a commander, and it also is a Morning Tide Rare, which has never been reprinted. And as you know, during that time period in Magic, there was a recession in the game, less packs were cracked. The catalyst, though, for this moving the way it is moving right now is the availability crossed with the increased interest caused by Opposition Agent. 
And number one is Kark's Thumb. Now, I haven't incorporated the cards from the list officially into these videos yet, but I did not want to omit this because it is a very big mover this week. However, it probably is being exaggerated a little bit by the unstable nature of those cards on the list right now. But regardless, the Meriden copy goes up 2121 to 2699 this week. That is a 367% increase. The copy from the list is going up 3916 to 5311. That one is a 281% increase. Now, currently, this is another card you might find in Commander, Okaun, and Zender split builds. But of course, it is moving again because of Krark the Thumbless from Commander Legends. All right, that concludes our top 10 cards of the week. Join us this weekend for our regular episode of the Market Watch where we deep dive into everything that's happening in the secondary market. But until then, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.